Hey everybody, welcome back. Today brings us to the last video in our blind series. Uh, today we're going to talk about our in-ground blind, complete with reflecting pool. It's a really cool blind and allows us to make some really cool and unique images. Of course, we did things on a pretty grand scale here at Gallo Photography, but we're going to show you at the end of the video a way you can do this on a much smaller scale in your own yard. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We have a lot of great videos coming up like macro, composition, and other great topics. I think that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Buckle up, everybody. Today we're going to take a deep dive into our brand new blind, our uh, in-ground blind complete with reflecting pond. It's uh, a really cool blind. It gives us the ability to make some really unique and different images. Look at that reflection like a mirror. So it's been a lot of fun. We had a family of raccoons that's been visiting. And of course we've been doing some birds too. We had a spring snowstorm, which was kind of fun. All right, so here's the here's the whole deal. Um, this is the reflection pond and the blind. Uh, the reflection pond itself is 12 feet long and four feet wide. It's just made out of plywood and a rubber liner. Obviously this is on a pretty big scale. We'll show you a way that you can do this on a lot smaller scale in a smaller space. Uh, very easily. Um, we made it so big because we're actually probably going to rent this thing out to other photographers that want to shoot here. So we did things on a little bit bigger scale. On this end, there is an in-ground uh, blind. It's dug down about four feet down into the ground so you can sit in there very comfortably and, and the cameras are held right at eye level. That roof pops up. I'll show you that in just a couple minutes. At the business end of the blind, there's a little stage. Um, Obviously, we've got that decorated with, with nice looking uh, logs and leaves and pine needles and such. We'll zoom in. I'll show you that in a, in a, uh, in a couple of minutes. Um, the blind itself, standard location for something like this. Um, we have morning light. The light, the sun comes up behind the blind um, and we have light on it till about one in the afternoon. Then it gets a little bit harsh for side lighting. We can shoot on a cloudy day all day long. But on sunny days, we can only shoot in the morning. Um, with any kind of feeding station like this, cover is really important. Directly behind the blind, you'll see nice, heavy, thick viburnum and, and grapes and other bushes and things that the birds just love. They feel really safe in that, uh, in that cover. And then, of course, backgrounds. When we're looking across that... Uh, that platform, that shooting stage there, we're shooting into those green, that green vegetation over there, which gives us these beautiful backgrounds. We're shooting right over the top of that gravel. You don't see that gravel in the picture at all. So um, I'll show you the stages, then we'll go inside and I'll show you how the blind works. Okay, so here's our stage. This is just the uh, medium sized stage. And obviously we've got it decorated with pine needles and colorful leaves and a mossy log. When we're shooting this, we're down low, so we don't have this nasty gravel background. We actually have a nice green uh, natural background. It's far enough away, it comes a beautiful out of focus. This is a stage we use most of the time for birds and squirrels and things like that. We do have a couple other stages. Um, we've got a big one for larger mammals like raccoons and things like that. There's a little tiny one we haven't used yet, but that would, you know, force the birds to go in one very narrow area. Um, and these just attach onto the back of the, to the end of the pond with Velcro. And then this big one, I actually put a couple feet on it just to help hold it up. And then each one of these, we'll just decorate it however we want. Alrighty, and here's a visit from uh, a little chipmunk. Obviously we've got some seed tucked in behind that mossy log and uh, he's just coming in and feeding on the seeds. Same thing, we do the same thing to attract birds. How do you like that beautiful uh, goldenrod background? Lots of different potentials here. All right, so let's take a look at the blind itself. So it's basically a pit blind. And Nicole, what are you doing in there? I was just trying to find some quiet time. 
I was going to show everybody the blind. <laughs> well, come on over. All right. Well, it's so it's a pit blind. It's about it's six foot wide by four feet deep or four feet wide, and then it's buried four feet down into the ground. It sticks out about a foot above the ground, so we can so our shooting platform can be right at ground level. Um, the the roof is just again it's just a corrugated plastic that we use for the other blind, and it's on a hinge. It just rests on top, and then we have this back wall that tips down. So um, the hardest part of this was digging the hole. So, but of course, Nicole was a giant help in that aspect. So let's go inside and I'll show you what else we got inside there. All right, so here we are inside the blind. As you can see, we've got uh, three shooting stations and the shooting stations are actually just mounted onto a four by four part of the structure. And this is right exactly at ground level. And this is what gives us this beautiful low level view under our subject. You can see the platform. It's not all decorated right now, but at the end edge of the pond, and you can see the background back there. All right, so if you wanted to make a pond to photograph at, this was our first version of the ground blind. Uh, we gave this to our buddy Mike, and he was nice enough to set it up and let us come out and take pictures of it again. But it's super easy to do. It's just it's up. It's about four foot by six foot, and he just water. We waterproofed it and built a little dish in it, and then we put uh, decorated it just like we would a normal thing. And then he shoots with this with either uh, a portable blind or uh, a hokey blind. We'll show you a picture of one of those. That's a ground blind. But uh, we'll put a link to the to the portable blinds at the end of this video. But you could do this very easily. You could do something just as simple as dig a little depression and put a pond liner over it and then put dirt on top of the edges of the pond liner. It doesn't have to be as extravagant as, uh, as what we showed you. But, you know, look at this beautiful setup. Imagine birds sitting on any of this beautiful stuff. So... Do it to whatever scale you're able to do it. But by all means, do it. So we had a lot of, a lot of fun making images with this this spring. Here's a uh, dead mouse checking out some hepatica, beautiful spring wildflower. And of course, I think I mentioned, you know, one of the beautiful things about this blind is you're able to get this eye level perspective. Even here, we just cropped out the reflection. You know, we're shooting with a 200 to 400 millimeter lens, so we can we can zoom in and just get rid of the reflection and just do really beautiful eye level images of, of our different subjects. Of course, the setup, you know, we're building the images, we build the set, make something that it's gonna fill the frame and, and make for a nice composition. And of course, push things, right? think out of the box, do some action shots. This was just a matter of, of waiting for him to jump and just holding down the button and hoping you get a, a good body position, 10 frames a second. You never know what's gonna come in. Uh, we had this, this uh, pine warbler come and visit one day. You know, sometimes they come in just to, to drink the water and, and take a bath, right? And more so in the winter. Right, we we did we didn't get to shoot this last winter because it wasn't quite done yet. But we did have a, a spring snowstorm. But in the winter, we're going to put a heater in the water, and that will keep all these birds coming all winter. And it will be the only available water here in Michigan when it gets cold enough for everything else to freeze. This will be a, a magnet for birds, you know. And if you live out in the southwest or or places where it's really dry, water is such a magnet. But in the north. Here, when, when all the other water is frozen, this, this uh, pond will be a, a magnet for all the birds. Chipmunk. Right, and again, cropping out the reflection, being, being able to shoot with a zoom lens and get this, I mean, look at this wonderful intimate perspective, right eye level with this cute little chipmunk. And I think I mentioned we had our family of raccoons. Um, so here I, I built a bigger stage, right? We put the, put the big, this is probably a, a four foot by two foot stage here for these, for these animals. 
super cute. We just had, and they're still here. It's uh, it's late September, and these babies are still, still visiting our yard almost every day. And uh, you know, just get all kinds of different images. So it's really a fun and, and easy project. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and because uh, we got a lot more stuff coming in. I think the next set of, of uh, videos we're going to do, are, we're going to start talking about composition and things like that. So make sure you subscribe and uh, we appreciate you guys checking us out. Thanks.